A very good morning to everybody that's going to listen to the short message on the nature of rejection. Uh, rejection, everybody is experiencing rejection one way or the other. Maybe in school, maybe in a family situation, everybody goes through rejection. It can be through a marriage, it can be through a loss of job, of your job and you feel unwanted rejection actually means unwanted and that's a problem that we all go through in our lives i mean teenagers in school uh, they feel they're not want they and they not, uh, people don't want to accept them in a certain group they feel rejected uh, uh, and the book says that some you're not you, you, you uh, they don't pick you for the team and uh, you're not playing in the in the rugby team you feel rejected uh, adults goes through goes through a lot of rejection. People lose their jobs. They they are being retrenched, and in the in the in the in the present situation in South Africa, a lot of people are going through rejection. Rejection. We all go. Some of us go through through a divorce in our lives, and I mean, I want to speak on that topic today. I want to talk to you about uh, going through a, a divorce and feel rejected. It's an ugly thing to go through. It's a devastating thing that goes, goes through. It ruins your life. It, it places you in a situation where you feel unwanted. You don't trust people. There's, uh, the, things fills your heart that, that, and, 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 you, and, you, and you think about things that you should not think about. Hate comes in your heart. And you feel that the other person person has let you down. You don't trust people. You look at people in a different way. You isolate yourself. You put yourself uh, 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 in, a, in a spot where you don't want to, sometimes you don't want to mingle with people. You feel alone and you feel your heart is filled with pain and you cry. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I've, I went through a situation for six years of my life that I went through uh, uh, and I felt rejected. In I, we had the ministry and I'm, I, I'm honest with you today is that sometimes I had to put on a mask to stand before people and, and, and just create that, that, that situation that everything is all right with Pastor Robbie and it, it wasn't. I went through a terrible rejection in my life. I looked at, uh, at, at other women and I thought, listen, yeah, if, if the one could do it to me, the other one can do it to me as well. And you know, that's wrong. Not everybody is the same. And that's what rejection does. And the devil comes and he always will push that button of rejection and tell you, you're not good enough. Uh, you, 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 you didn't fulfill your role as a father in the house. And, and he will come with all sorts of lies. And lies brings you in a state of mind that you feel, listen, yeah, I'm not good enough. And you listen to the lies of the devil. He will tell you that you not want it. He will tell you that you're not good enough. And he will tell you, I can remember when I want to, 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 to pack up everything and leave the ministry. And just, I thought to myself, I'm going to enjoy my, the rest of my life. And then God spoke to me. God says, I've called you because I've got a purpose for your life. You see, there's a purpose for everybody. And the devil doesn't want you to realize that God has destined you for greater things in your life. And he wants to keep you in that small area of your life and keep you where your mind is just set on, listen, yeah, I'm not good enough. And when you come to people and people just look at you a certain way, you think, listen, yeah, they, I'm not accepted in this, in this crowd or I'm not, I'm, I'm not good enough. Listen, you, God made you good enough. God w has got a purpose for you. And the minute you realize that God loves you so much that God will never reject you and God is there for you. He will accept you and the love of God will carry you through. And there's a purpose for your life. The minute I realize there's a purpose for my life, God has called me for greater things. Then the whole scenario changed And you know what Then there was forgiveness in my heart And I started accepting And, 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 and even God gave me such a great compassion for people And compassion for, 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 for people that was involved in this whole thing That I had a compassion for them as well And I started forgiving 
But the main thing is here, you must realize God has got a purpose for your life. God will never reject us. God will take us. He will heal us. He will heal the wounds. He will take us and he will, he will, he will, he will, he will give us and we can start a new life through him because we've got a purpose in God. Listen to me. God, acceptance is far greater than rejection because God loves us and he will help us through all of rejection. May God bless you. May this be a wonderful day to you. And don't feel rejected, but feel accepted because God is accepting you. Amen.